Hey everyone, welcome to Iwasaki's Plays and Replays. Today, we are getting to know The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, which is an action-adventure game published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch in 2024. The game seems to use the same game engine and art style showcased in the Switch re-release of Link's Awakening. Echoes of Wisdom offers a different perspective in terms of gameplay as you play as Princess Zelda herself, with unique abilities that you acquire during the game. Now, let's find out what makes this game stand out. Echoes of Wisdom is set on the vast land of Hyrule, where the story begins with Link going after the princess to rescue her from the hands of a foul beast known as Ganon. After defeating its minions and the Dark Beast itself, a mysterious rift appears from the ground, swallowing everything around, including our hero Link. In his final attempt to save the princess, he shot an arrow straight at the crystal that was imprisoning her, cracking it just enough for Zelda to escape. As she breaks free, she flees from the corrupting void that was chasing her, and now it's up to her to discover the nature of this force and maybe her time to rescue her savior. Echoes of Wisdom is a top-down style game, with controls and commands that are not so complex and you can easily master them. However, the strong point in this game is how you use your creativity to solve mysteries and fight enemies. Zelda gains an ability known as Echo from a magical creature called Tri, a companion she met after a certain event. This creature also provided her with a mystical rod that can replicate objects she has learned using Tri's channeled power within the rod. Echoes of Wisdom offers a campaign that can take around 20-25 hours to complete, depending on your playstyle and difficulty setting which may provide a satisfying experience. You can choose between normal and hero difficulty. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom brings us an involving plot, innovative gameplay mechanics and Princess Zelda herself as protagonist, with a balanced campaign and difficulty options. The game should be great for both old and new fans, and there is something for everyone, story, puzzles, and exploration. My expectations for this game is that it won't be too hard, I don't see myself struggling to beat it. Although I expect to enjoy a lot this game, and it will likely become one of my favorites, I don't know why, I just feel it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this pre-game review, please consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. As soon as I beat the game, a post-game review video will be uploaded as well. Until next time and see you around!